Hey, what's up, guys? Today, back to town, and welcome back to another part of PGA Tour career mode. This is part 71, and we're in the second round of the PGA Championships. Shit, I forgot to change the settings. Hang on. Around the golf course, it looks just like it's not real. Uh, it it looks like you're playing on the moon sometimes. It's I think it's custom three, venue. right? Let me just check for sure. Yep, that's the one. All right, so. We're not doing too good. We didn't have a great first round. We had a level par. We had like five birdies, I think, and like four bogeys and a double or something crazy like that. Um, but we're jumping in to the next round now and seeing if we can make the cut and progress on and maybe make a move up the leaderboard. As you can see, the cut line is at plus one at the moment. We're level par. So we're hoping to make a run here on Friday and be well inside that cut line. I'm going away for a few days. Um, come Wednesday. Today is Monday. So come Wednesday, I'm going away for a few days. So the PGA videos might be... I'm going to EGX, uh, Eurogamer. So the videos might slow down a little bit. I'm going to try and schedule a couple of PGA videos. And I'll schedule maybe a community challenge for Sunday. I come back Sunday, late Sunday. I might not be back here till Monday. So no more. Uh, I'll try to schedule a community challenge for Sunday, 3 p.m., which I usually do, which I do every week. I'll try and do... Uh, I'll try and finish the PGA here as well. Um, I'm putting this one up today, Monday. I'll try to put up another round Wednesday and then another one Friday, possibly. So you'll have three three videos while I'm away. Three PGA videos. I'm going to be putting up FIFA and all sorts of other stuff as well. Sit. That's how you play the game. I'll be putting up uh, FIFA videos, one a day maybe while I'm away. And I'll be putting up Rocket a couple of maybe Rocket League co-op videos. And I'll be putting up The Taken King as well while I'm away. Destiny of the Taken King. I'm finishing that off at the moment. I'm nearly finished it, which is really cool if you want to check it out. This looks pretty straight to me. Maybe a tiny bit of break coming in from that side. Overswing. It was the other side. It was the other side? Hmm. Alright, it's going to be a, a kick in par here at the first, which we'll take graciously. I'm really pumped up to go to EGX now, though. Um, really kind of starting to kick in now. The hype is getting real. Uh, if some of you guys don't know, it's basically a Eurogamer. It's um, in Birmingham. Big gaming convention. I'm gonna get to play all the newest games and stuff. I'll I'll be vlogging it. If you want to check out my vlogs, uh, I'm sure it will be fun to vlog. I'll have a bit of a bit of banter with it. Oh, that was slow. That was way slow. Yeah, it's in the rough too. Yep. Shit. At least it's a par five. We weren't gonna get there anyway, too. I don't think. Oh, um, no, we wouldn't. Have. We're gonna see exactly how good they are because you know that's not exactly the best lie, but it's sort of doable if if you know what you're doing. That was pretty good. We could have gone a little bit more right again. It's gonna go in the rough as well. No, that's in the first cut. Okay, we got hilariously lucky there. But, um, yeah, like I said, guys, check out my vlog. Should be fun to do. Should be fun to vlog. And I'll be playing a lot of cool games. Hopefully I can get some cool footage. Maybe I'll be able to record some of these games and stuff like that. I'm not sure on that yet, but uh, hopefully I will. Stay there. I stay up there. Okay, we have a birdie chance. Not, a, not an easy one, but... Awkward length. Ah, very close. And yet it still counts for another shot. Very close. Just a couple of feet. Okay. A good effort, a good par five. All right, Frank, how do you like the look of the first par three in the golf course, the third hole? Well, you have a good look at Lake Michigan for a start. That's uh, certainly not where you want to hit it, though. Um, really use the green, the shape of the green, which angles to the left. Oh, yeah, I think I've done perfectly. It's a little big, is it? Frank, which way is this oh, it's way big. Sit, sit. Sit. There is a bit of green out there, though. Yeah, it's going to be a nasty uphill par. Hopefully terrible. we can two-putt this. Get off of the par. Yeah, uh, it's looking like it's going to be a tough day. The winds are up. Um, really... 41 so foot, uh, two foot up. Let's go 51, 61. It's pretty good pace wise. That is an excellent lag putt right there. Had the speed perfectly. Settles in over the putt. Perfect speed and a nice two putt there. So it's going to be three solid straight pars to start the round. At the PGA, we're seven shots off the pace here of McNeil and Bone. 
None of the top players are up there, so that's good. Those guys are gonna bottle it. Perfect. Just perfect. Look at that. Look at that run. Look at that run. Boom. We'll hit that slope and go down there. Get down there. Get down further. Oh, it's gonna stop on the slope. That's bullshit. It's bullshit, man. This is going to affect the player's shots. Okay. That's for sure. No, that wasn't good. I didn't like that one. A little slow, but that's looking real good. Hop. Get up there. Get up towards the hole. Kick on. If that hadn't have been slow, that might have been in the hole. Legit. <laughs> that's a great shot. We'll take that. All day long, we take that. Not a formality either. It's going to break a little bit there to the right, I think. Yes! Come on, we needed that. We needed that to get under par. Finally, we are under par. We are, we're, we're being patient here in this round. A little bit of patience never goes astray in golf. Never ever. I hate this hole. I never ever do good on this hole. Ever. I mean, ever. I, I hit it in the water on this hole, I would say, 70% of the time that I've played it. Not even exaggerating, that's literally... Yeah, I think yesterday I hit it in the water here as well. I was like, I hate this hole, so I'm going to play it safe. So I aimed it way over here and then hooked it into the water. It was ridiculous. That was a little better. That's not going in the water, that's for sure. As long as I don't put my third shot in the water, we're good. Oh, it's going in the rough, damn it. Into the thick stuff, that's a difficult lie. 80 yards to the flag stick, Frank. Really some strong winds out there today, and we can already see the effects on some of these shots. Seems to like it. Should have gone a little bit more up. Okay, that's okay though. That's a pretty chance. We'll take it. We'll take that because I usually don't do good on this hole at all. I think I parted yesterday though, even though I put it in the water. I'm pretty sure. I was real good, a real good stroke, but it was just a tiny like bit. That. That may have been a bit too much too to the much right. To for there, that distance, putt, Frank. Yeah, it's fine but that's a par. I'll take it there. I'll take that there any day. Cause that hole sucks. Let's be real. Okay, 391. This par four is. Frank, how do you like this par four sixth hole? A little more than 400 yards. We're 100 today. Really, you try not to overthink this one. Just find some fairway down there around the 280, 300 yard mark. I mean, relatively simple. 280, 300? How about 310, bitch? Just the lie there, too. It is sitting up like it's teed up. Getting set for another approach, our featured golfer really looks dialed in at this point. Yeah, right now, this is a great feeling to have as a, as a golfer. Your swing's good, the timing, it's almost like it's just completely natural. You don't have to think. Oh, that's real good. That's real good. Don't spin too much. Don't spin too much. Oh, it's gonna. It's gonna, but that's okay. It's a pretty chance. We're being patient. We're taking our pars. How about Jason Day, guys? What a sad, huh? That fool's honestly too good at the moment. World number one now, Jason Day. is kind of, I don't know, he's kind of upsetting me. He's a little too good. Oh, what a putt! How about that putt? Double breaker, snake putt, straight in the side door there. And we get to within five of the lead at the PGA here. Beautiful. Two under two six. Frank, there's a two under two six. Seventh hole shipwreck. It's 221 yards long, and there is plenty of trouble to the right. Yeah, water, rocks, bunkers, all sorts of things. But really, when you look at the hole another way, it shapes up for a left to right shot. Oh, glitchy. Needs to sit. Lots of loft, so it sat down quick enough. So it's going to be a 33 footer here. I think there's more break than that. Yeah, way more. Nah, that's a poor effort right there. Missed out on that second part. Oh wow! Man, see that dive away from it. That hurts. That's a three pot right there. And that's a bogey. God damn it! So another bogey on the scorecard. Frank, what happened this week? Um, I think it's a week to forget, Rich.
Alright. 323. I think I'm gonna hit a 3 wood here. Just so I don't... There's lots of room there, you know? I don't have to go up into the tin part of the fairway. Oh, wow. Did I hook that? Now, this is not hitting in the right direction. Well, it looks like it's gonna be in the rough. I thought that I was aiming at the fairway. I was obviously aiming left because I hit that dead straight. Wicked. Second shot no, it's not rough. good. Now we have a long-ass second shot. Come on, come in, come in, kick in, kick in. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. We have to get up and down for a par here now. It's a bad miss there. Three wood, three wood. We have to go. Frank, you like his chances to walk away with a par here? Well, with a good shot, Rich. Sure, that's certainly on the card. Oh, what a shot! What a shot! Beautiful. Into the hole. Don't tell anyone about it. It certainly won't affect the scorecard at the end of the day. So that's the goal right here. Beautiful, beautiful. It's a freaking par. That was a great par, especially after making bogey on the last. We didn't want to make back to back and go back to level par. That would have sucked. We're six back of McNeil here. He's finished his round. Run toward the green down the hill. Well, Pete Dye just gives you so many different looks um, throughout the front nine of whistling straights, and, and this beauty. really is the first example of this. Plus the, the swirling winds. That just the beauty the right there. Frank, downhill shot here. Will he have to take it just a little bit easier? Yeah. Be careful with the ball position as well. If you play the ball too far forward and try and scoop it, it's not going to work. The ball felt like it was a bunker over there. I think he's below our feet there for some reason, so I aimed out there. Oh, so the second of the didn't go in the bunker at least. Goes begging, and now I'll have to rely on the short game. Yeah, we're relying like on the short game, game we once again. Redeem a lot of mistakes. So oh, I left it a little short. It's okay though. That should be able to make a par there. Whoa! I thought it broke the other way. I completely misread that. after that miss and a drop shot here at the ninth. I thought it broke the other way. I really did. Thought it broke to the to the right, but it actually broke to the left. So we're back to level par now for the round. Just the same as yesterday, making birdies, but we're making bogeys Welcome too. To it's hard not to make mistakes on this course. Ball is teed up here at the tenth. We are set to get so a driver here that's going to go in. We're going to have to hit a three hybrid, I think. In the of you can easily carry that in line with another one that's about 330. Otherwise, we would have gone in the rough, as you can see. See, this would have gone out to the right and gone into the rough because we couldn't aim any more left because of the because of the tree. So we had to hit a hybrid off C, and it's still not a terribly long second shot, so it's not a problem. Them. Go, go hard, go hard, go hard. Oh, yes, that's really good. My ball listened there. That's really good now. I'll take that any day. Okay, we need to make a few birdies to get back those two we lost. It's a little bit unexplainable. Let's see what he does from here now. Lucky break. I hooked that putt completely. Look at that on the radar. That would have been in as well, I think. That is a waste. That's an absolute waste right there. That was a poor, poor putt. Good putt. Good putt, he says. Shut up, commentator. Well, Frank, the 11th here at Whistling Straits is a monster par 5. They call it sandbox, but it is never going to get here in two anyway. No, I, can't, I can't actually count the number of bunkers on this hole. Plus it's a dog I'll count right. them for you. Lots. Yards. I don't care whichever way you cut it down. That's going to be three good shots. Forces you to hit driver off this tee. Okay, I'm not going to bother going up there. I'm just going to hit an iron to the top of the fairway. What is a 192? I'll hit that to the top of the fairway. Seven iron here. Because there's no point in going over there to the right, really, is there? We might as well have a full third shot coming in. Perfect. Perfect. Could have hit a, a six iron, a five iron, a little bit further off to the right there, but there's more room here anyway. It's perfect. The same club, a lot harder, or just hit another one. Ball's way below our feet here, is it? Looks like it. From the way he's standing. I don't know if it's going to affect it that much though. It's four percent fast. That's going over the back of the green. Wow! Holy yeah, shit bags. Way too much. I remember that happened to me on this hole before once as well. Third shot. 
Like that pole doesn't play as long as you think it does or something. But the hardest holes to make four. Making a six though. That certainly sets yourself backwards. So tough up and down. Yeah. Sit, sit! Oh no! Are you serious? It was five foot up though. Different day, different There's only one percent over so we're going over par here, guys. We'll do better this time, it looks like. That's a test our back for the bogey. I mean, that one was dead center. This for bogey once again. Made bogey here yesterday. Did we? God damn it. Alright, it's a bogey. We're back to one over. We need to make some serious birdies coming in here, guys. We're not doing too good at all. And we're on the cut line now, I think. Frank, the short part cut line's one plus one. Yeah, cut line's plus one. We need to make birdies. Might not make the cut here. This will be our first miscut in a very long time. On the green. It takes some doing. That was beautifully struck. Beautifully struck. It needs to stay up. It needs to stay up. Stay up. Kick in left. Kick in left. Oh, that's an absolute beauty right there. Stay there. Thank you. That was a beauty. That was really good. This is a tough hole. I remember this hole in the actual PGA. It was really tough. No, more break, more break. Made a good run not making the putts. I'm not making the putts at all. Now, trying to walk away with the par. Just a couple of feet. Okay, it's a par. We need birdies though. Always On the freaking cut run line. Right this be our first miss cut in a very long time. I don't think we've missed one this season. By the looks of this one, Frank, if you were right Since the start of the last season, if I'm honest. Massive drop-offs and bunkers to the right. Doubtful that you'd ever get a good life and miss this field on the right. Okay. That's an absolute beauty. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Spin, spin, spin hard. Okay, that's a pretty good shot. You can make the birdies though. You need to make the putts. This hole's been it's a heavy breaker, huh? Today, trying for another one today. Yes, come on, we needed that one badly. Back to level par. We're inside the cut line now. Instead of on the cut line, we're inside it. Come on. Five holes left to go. Let's get under par. Let's get towards that lead. Seven under. It's not out of reach yet. Really narrows up I hit a three-wood here. I hit a so hybrid, actually. Hole, really, Our Nike Vapor five, hybrid. Let's bound so that down the center there. Remember, yep, perfect. See, 250 leaves 145, so we hit a 270. Good so only have 125 in. Now, yep, exactly. Perfect. This hole. I think this will actually do, because of that wind. That needs to sit. That needs to sit. Wow. Can't believe that's gone so far. Not terrible, but not his best. The outside chance really for uh, for birdie, but um, really it was a, a rather poor approach shot. Uh, that was a good effort. Good leg putt. Good read right there. Could Let's tap in for par. Putt for par. All right, four holes left, I think we have. We're on to 15, right? No problems there. Yeah, four holes the left. Going, keeps the momentum on his side. Ready to go Seven here. shots back. Team, by the looks of it, Frank, we should have brought the swimsuits and some sunscreen. It's very picturesque, that's for sure, but don't get fooled by its beauty. This is an absolute beast at 503 yards and sets up a very, very tough finish to whistle. What a stars. shot. What a golf shot. It's an absolute monster right there. Look at that. Oh, what a, what a drive. 372 yards. That was a beauty right there. Short swing. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's not brilliant, but it's pretty good. 
it's a long way to the hole from here. Never easy. Come on! Yes! That was a beast of a putt right there. Smashed the back of the cup. We needed that one as well. We're under par now. Three holes to play. This has been a topsy-turvy round as well, guys. We've had some ups and down rounds in the first two here. Certainly should feel that way. That was uh, some quality. Par five to come here. Please stay up. Please stay up. Please stay up, mate. Yep. That's gonna be good. That's gonna be real good. That's good spot. Right there. That's a beauty. In fact, we might be able to get an eagle chance here if we can hit a good second shot. Get ourselves an eagle chance because this isn't terribly long. Great athletes, great teams pushing one another to great heights. It's amazing how that's gone forward too because Nick Go, go, go hard, go hard, Watson. jump, like jump. Thank you. Okay, that's an ego putt now. Beautiful. But in this era that we're in now, I think we're all praying for that Woods McElroy rivalry. Um, you know, Woods with 14 majors, McElroy already with four. That really is one to celebrate over. No, it's not because Tiger Woods is way better than Rory McElroy will ever be. No offense to Rory McElroy, but Tiger Woods is way better. He's on another level. I don't, how can you even compare the two? 14 compared to 4. I don't even know which way this breaks. It's crazy. I had it better when I was at... Yeah, it breaks both ways. See, he thought he had that. It'll That's a tap in birdie, though, to get to 2 on 9, 5 back. Now this for birdie came away with it's been a pretty crazy round. We got to 2 under at one stage, then we went all the way back to 1 over, and now we're back to 2 under again, so. Handy stuff. I think we have 3 birdies and 3 bogeys. Is it? Oh, look at that scorecard. It might be 4 birdies. No, 3 birdies. Yeah, 4 birdies and 4 bogeys. 4 birdies and 3 bogeys. Sorry, we're 1 under. Oh, wait. Three, five birdies, and three bogeys. My bad. We're two under. Yeah, because we were level par after the first round. What am I saying? I'm gonna have to hit this with some serious lob. No, I think I'll hit the club behind it. About hitting. Yeah. That was not good. That was not good. Frank, where's this one headed? Sit. Just catch the left side of the green. That's gonna be a devastatingly tough putt. Jesus. He's knocked it on the green, but not in a great position. This is a difficult chance coming up here. Long not even giving us green grades here. Eighty-one to ninety-one. Ninety-one to one hundred and five. Oh, maybe one hundred and three. We'll try one hundred and three. Wow. So a lot more break than that. Just didn't read it quite right. This is going to be a difficult putt here for a par. To get, avoid our fourth bogey of the day. Come on, let's do this. Not enough break, nearly. Wow. Frank had the touch of a plumber right there. Yeah. You Not like nearly enough. Go, wake up! Wake up! <laughs> it's a bogey. Back to one under. Five birdies, four bogeys. And eight pars. Frank, quite a finishing hole, and that's oh as God, it not this be. freaking this hole to finish. I hate this hole. Major championship. Well, you can see why Bubba Watson, uh, Martin Keimer, Dustin Johnson have played well here. This finishing hole requires the long hitter's best tee shot, preferably just a little bit on the right side, because that's the safer side to be. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really, the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag, and this is a green light special. It's going left. The ball was way above our foot there. Right there. It's okay though. It's a long ass putt though. Sit, sit there. Stay there. Stay there. It's gonna be a long ass putt. Two putt. We'll, we'll walk off one under. Won't be the end of the world. Forty-seven. Forty-seven. Two foot down, right? Um, that's seventeen, right there. 17 inches, we want to come back a little bit more than that. Maybe 25. Oh, that was way fast and overswing. It's not terrible though. Be very happy with that one. 
it wasn't that much break. Part. I mean, really, it's unrealistic to try and make those. So any time you can uh, two putt from there is a good result. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Solid par and one under round. Frank, you can see by the reaction. I'm a one under Within six that, back, just, but that's pause, fine. Well, that's a nice picture right there. Today, eh? We saw a lot of great golf, Frank. Yeah, the course was good. It was gettable for some. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit a little big like. We'll be back with the next round of the PGA in a couple of days. While I'm away, these will be going up. So leave comments. I'll reply to them um, in the hotel, maybe, or something like that. So, yeah, let me know how you enjoyed this part, and I'll see you guys for the next video very soon. Mahalo.